Hey guys, so I'm back with Success Principle 6 from Jack Canfield's book, The Success Principles. And this one is to use the law of attraction. So this is really fun. I think, I think a lot of people have a lot of different thoughts around this idea, but it's one that I've certainly come to embrace and I feel like it just creates a lot of fun and joy in life. I, I don't see the point of being really skeptical about it because really using the law of attraction is so much about creating more positivity in your life and trusting in the universe and I don't think that that's a bad thing I actually think that's a really cool thing firstly he mentions to watch the secret so I totally agree with that I watched the secret a long time ago and I think it's an awesome resource you can watch it I think on YouTube you can also read the book so whichever you prefer but that's a pretty cool place to get started to understand the basics of the law of attraction. Quick way to sum up the law of attraction is that what you think about, talk about, believe about and feel really intensely are the things you will then bring about in your life. So it's basically saying that like attracts like, we get what we focus on, it's it's sort of that philosophy that you hear so often in so many different catchy sayings it's explaining that this is not just a nice idea it's actually a a fundamental law of the universe and its truth and its energy we are basically all energy so the physical and the non-physical in the world it doesn't matter what it is from brain waves to to physical material items we're all made of the same energy it's kind of like getting yourself on the same frequency as the energy that you want to attract and raising your frequency and keeping it raised as often as you can and trying to maintain that through daily life is what using the law of attraction is so it can be tricky to get your head around initially so that's why it helps to look into things like the secret and do your own research and explore the law of attraction and maybe you'll come across some resources that are more kind of scientific and legitimate at, and that help um, solidify it for you as a, a real law of the universe just like gravity so I would definitely suggest do a bit of research into it and yet yeah, you know don't approach it as woo woo just think of it as as a really true law that you can work with so a lot of the greatest minds have known these things for a really long time when you read certain comments and quotes from people like Winston Churchill or Gandhi or Buddha even things from the Bible um, even really successful people today who probably are using the law of attraction without even realizing it because they just have the mindset that they will succeed and then they do and it's because it's what they're putting out to the universe we are always creating our own lives and our own experiences we have like our thoughts control so many aspects of our lives and it's when we acknowledge that and start to work with that instead of against it that we can create some pretty cool things for ourselves if we create from the negative we are going to draw in more of the negative so that's why the power of positivity is so important you want to be in a state of positivity as often as you can because that is what you are going to then draw towards you everything as I said it's in a constant state of vibration and or like a constant frequency of vibration and we are really the observers and creators and we're constantly creating our world whether we know it or not and whether we are willing to own up to it or not like it that's just the way it is so we are creating our experience every day we can raise or lower our frequency to match the vibration and frequencies of other people places and things that we want to attract towards us so if you want to be attracting a really high level of, of great energy and great people and great experiences and the things that you want you have to be coming from this frequency of all of those great things you know you've got to be putting it out so that you can get it back it's all really controlled from our thoughts initially because our thoughts are the start of everything and then it it really deepens when we bring our emotions into it is from thought because everything is from thought so that's why we have to be really mindful of our you know thoughts and keeping them positive 
but then also it's our emotions as well that really start creating that frequency and that vibration so how we feeling we we are in control of our emotions through our thoughts so we want to be feeling great as often as we can we want to be feeling positive and happy and light and energetic and successful and all of these things that we want to be we need to be feeling them tension is deliberate thought so what we need to do is really ask believe and we shall receive so according to Jack, the first step in using the law of attraction is to ask for what you want. So remember to be constantly asking for what you want and not for what you don't want because the universe can't decipher between the two. It's just giving you more of what you're thinking about. Whatever you're surrounding yourself with, whatever you're reading, watching, responding to, looking at online, you know, that is more of what you're going to get. So you've got to make sure that it's intentional and it's what you want and that you are actively participating in this and you're not just on autopilot getting a bunch of negative because it's what you're putting out there. So if you're blaming, if you're judging others, finding fault, worrying, always being concerned about what could go wrong, then that's really what you're putting out to the universe and that's the frequency and the vibration that you're going to receive back so it's really comes down to a lot of self-awareness again which is obviously a huge theme throughout this whole book is becoming really self-aware of what are you vibrating out like what frequency are you on and how often are you writing the positive and how often are you writing the negative and what can you do to be positive more and more and more to then be able to bring in more of it it's it's kind of just checking in and making sure that you're not responding unconsciously to things that you're actually actively bringing that self-awareness to the forefront and and responding to things in the best way possible to get the best outcome for you what if you acted like you already had everything that you wanted you would then already be vibrating on that frequency how often can you practice acting like you've already got everything that you want because you're just putting that message out to the universe which is not only great to move you towards the things that you want but you're getting to feel good already like isn't that just such a good thing it's like you're you're getting to feel like you have all the things you want already which is is good positive happy feelings it's a great way to be i think and i definitely encourage it always making sure everything you want from the universe is framed in the positive if you want to overcome debt there's no point focusing on debt and the word debt it's more about focusing on financial freedom it's focusing on unlimited income it's focusing on abundance and all sorts of wonderful earnings and excitement for the future you know you can't pursue abundance and freedom from a feeling of lack and debt so it's really about affirming the positive rather than even trying to affirm the negative like the, there's no mental picture for don't if someone says to you don't think about puppies the first thing you're going to think about is a puppy like you're going to picture a puppy straight away in your head so the best thing to do is to focus on the thing you want which is the financial freedom rather than the thing that you don't want which is the debt and the word debt so just don't use the negative words or the the words that say like that I can't and that I don't have and that I'm lacking you've got to use the words that create feelings of abundance and being empowered and feeling joyful and then you've got to really be in that state of expectancy that you're actually going to get it back so that like that's all you really need to do is ask the universe for what you want and not really get too caught up in the detail or the wondering of how the universe is going to bring it to you because that's not really your concern the universe is really good at what it does and if you set your intentions really clearly and focus on them that's where everything starts to conspire to to bring you the things that you want and that's really where the magic of this law of attraction is the next step you need to do is once you've asked is you need to just believe in it and then also start taking action because it's the taking the action that affirms the belief like it's the law of attraction isn't to say i believe i'm gonna win the lotto and i'm just gonna sit back and wait for that to happen 
because you don't actually believe that. You don't really believe deep down that that is going to happen. What you need to do is part of the belief is taking the action because it's in taking the action that you know these things become more and more and more of a possibility. The, the biggest thing you've got to be mindful of is the limiting beliefs that are going to probably need to continuously be worked on to keep you moving in the right direction, to keep you taking the action and allowing you to work with the universe to make these things happen. Part of it is as well just receiving ideas. Like once you start believing in, in this law of attraction and you start taking the action, you'll notice you'll get flashes of insights. You'll notice you get inspired ideas you notice you get creative solutions to problems you've never thought of before you know you start to see opportunity in different areas and in different ways and it's really encouraging and things like slowly start to come together and and it's actually fun like it's it's really fun seeing how these things can be drawn into your life and the last couple of points to know is to really focus on appreciation and gratitude so how can you express to the universe your gratitude now for everything that you already have? Because really we're all, well, you know, for the most part quite lucky and we're quite blessed to have the things that we have even if it's just, you know, the air in our lungs at this point. You know, we, we're all here and, and we're living and breathing and we hopefully have some things to be grateful for. How can you tell the universe that you appreciate everything it's already done for you? How can you start to show a bit of love and respect back to the whole process? Maybe it's a gratitude practice where you write down each morning what you're grateful for. Maybe you meditate on it for five minutes a day. Look around you and just think about 10 things that make you happy and make you feel blessed that you're grateful for. So I think that's a really nice way to incorporate gratitude into your life. I think everyone does it differently. I wouldn't say that there is a perfectly right or wrong way to do it. I think that you can just find what works and, and slots into your day as a nice way to thank the universe. I've actually written a letter to the universe as though everything I want has already come true and it's already the the life that I'm leading and I thank the universe in detail and I read my letter every day and I also try to practice you know gratitude in other ways as well so in moments when I'm feeling stressed or annoyed or something bothers me I try to quickly slip in a, a grateful thought or something to to get my mindset back in line with the law of attraction and with appreciating what I do have instead of focusing on those negative moments that pop up because they do you know it's life and and things are going to pop up that are going to challenge you in every single day it's just about incorporating things like that into your life as much as you can so just keep in mind that attention to what is creates more of what is yeah spend some time exploring the law of attraction and play with it for yourself I've definitely seen it come together in my life in in so many crazy ways I, I'm definitely living a lifestyle that I had asked the universe for and started taking action towards so I have really a, a whole lot of flexibility in my current working arrangement and that is something that I was actively putting out to the universe that I wanted and I was taking action to pursue that and an opportunity fell in my lap that allowed me all kinds of things from flexibility to travel you know I got to go to Europe and and do all kinds of things based off this opportunity that came to me so I I can't like agree anymore or be any more excited by the law of attraction I think it's so cool and I do sometimes forget it to keep building it to keep working with it and not to switch on that autopilot as we do and just to to keep going with it and keep experimenting so use this success principle in the funnest way you can learn more about it and um, yeah get excited about it because it's a fun one okay I will be back um, with success principle seven in the next video. Bye.